Hey, Rob. Okay, happy Saturday. Um, so here this is. I can, I mean, I can see the patination, if you want to call it that, tropicalization around here without actually pulling the movement. I don't, so you can see the dial directly. I don't, I don't know how I could show that more clearly. Um, Again, when I'm wearing it, I, I don't even notice it. In fact, I, I hadn't even noticed that there was anything by the Tate window because, I don't know, I just hadn't noticed. And I'm, I'm pretty picky, I'd like to think, but... Let me see if I can make this even bigger here. Oh, I should get that um, other set of hands that go with this. Uh, let me do that. Okay, so here, let me try that again. This is a set of hands. Uh, my tutor, my sort of mentor and instructor was, uh, here in town, was a Rolex and Omega professional. And he, when he retired, I got a lot of his material, and these hands were in there. So these are certainly more patinaed, and those will go with it. Uh, these are... I, I believe these, I mean, these, these look, this looks to be a service handset to me, but genuine. Anyway, I don't, I mean, I love the watch. I really do. I just don't wear it very much. I bought it for, my wife collects movie watches. I mean, this is a Clint Eastwood, of course. Um, this is her Brad Pitt Once Upon a Time in Hollywood watch. I need to actually go through this one again because I restored this from junk. And so I got this for her, but she just, she never took to it. I think it's beautiful. I love especially sort of the deep gloss of the dial and the, the, the beautiful um, applied, you know, gold text under, under magnification. It's just glorious. And I really do think that these dials, this dial type, this marker type is one of the most underrated and beautiful dials that Seiko, or that Rolex ever came up with. I love it. I think it's just fantastic. But the watch doesn't get, really get worn, and we really want to do some other stuff, and I'd love to pick up that Hoyer. As for other things I could trade for the Hoyer, I don't I don't have anything that would be a, a one-shot, one-kill uh, to, to pick that up. It just I just don't. Um, I wish I did, but I don't. Um, I'm hoping that we can come to some kind of a bargain. But uh, it's just, it is really a lovely watch. Oh, and here's the, there's the bracelet. And this is the JB Champion style with this 14 karat gold center links. And it's full length. And I do have another one of these in sort of, not in pieces, but it's it's rougher than this. But it's good for spares and the middle is in fact gold. So here it is. I really do. This is a great watch. Hmm. It's funny, I just, I never noticed anything around the date window with the three marker. It just never occurred to me to think about it because it's under that date window. I mean, the other marks of patination, I don't, I don't see at all. I mean, if I really look for them, you can see them, but. God, that's a beautiful watch. I mean, if I end up not selling this, you know what? It's, that's fine. Gosh, that's a pretty watch. Okay, well, hopefully that gives you some more information about what's going on, and that's it. Okay, thank you.